Hey guys, we've reached the end of yet another year and as usual, it's time to dole out our annual Zero One Awards for the best performing devices across several categories launched in the Indian market. The awards are given out on the basis of performance alone and other factors such as design, build, price and extraneous features are immaterial. The ASUS ROG Crosshair 8 Hero has a 14 plus 2 phase VRM design that makes use of the IR3556 ampere power stages with two of them being used for each phase. They are all controlled by the IR35201. ASUS opts for not using doublers on their motherboards in order to improve transient response. For the memory VRM, it uses a Digi Plus ASP1103. This configuration helps the ASUS Crosshair 8 Hero provide enough power even for the nastiest overclocks possible on a Ryzen 9 3950X. For networking, the board comes with a 1G Intel NIC, a 2.5G Realtek NIC and an AX200 Wi-Fi 6 NIC. With our 3900X, the overall system power consumption was also lower than all the other X570 motherboards that we've tested. This higher power efficiency was one of the key contributors towards it winning this year's Zero One Awards. The MSI Meg X570 Ace uses a 12 plus 2 phase VRM configuration using IR3 60 ampere power stages per phase in conjunction with an IR3 599 doubler per phase. The VRM controller is the same IR35201 that's used on the ASUS Crosshair 8 Hero motherboard. For the memory VRM, the board uses a RichTech RT8125 PWM controller. This particular configuration has fewer power phases than the ASUS board, but from the perspective of power delivery, it too has enough capacity to drive an overclocked Ryzen 9 3950X. The difference that we noticed was with the overall board power, which was about 8 to 9 watts higher than the ASUS board. The MSI Meg X570 Ace is a great motherboard, but consumes a teensy bit more power than the Crosshair 8 Hero. On the networking side, it has the exact same configuration, which features a 1GB NIC, a 2.5GB NIC and an AX200 Wi-Fi 6 controller, which is again exactly the same as the ASUS board. For the reasons of having a slightly higher power consumption, this becomes our runner-up. And then there's the best buy, which is the ASUS ROG Strix X570e Gaming. The X570 motherboard lineup is a little on the expensive side compared to the older X470 boards and the ROG Strix X570e Gaming is towards the higher side, but it has fewer features than the Crosshair 8 or the Meg. It also has a good VRM design that's a step down from the Crosshair, but the price difference scales proportionally as well. The key difference is the kind of rapid BIOS iterations and granularity of the configuration options that's available. Even the networking configuration is the same, but for about 5K legs, you are getting a pretty good feature-laden motherboard. And that ticks all the boxes that the enthusiast PC builder is looking for. But now, if you are an o'clocker, you'll be better off with a Crosshair 8. Let us know what you think about our choices in the comments below. Also, remember to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon for notifications for similar videos. Thanks for watching.